I'm going to be adding Darth Vader's TIE Advanced to my little Star Wars collection. A little bit better version than maybe the original toy line way back in the day, but not the first version of this. It got released in kind of the Power of the Force 90s box first. This is the little bit later, 2004 I believe, after some of the prequel movies had come out. We've got the original trilogy collection. Right at the time I was just not really able to get a whole lot of Star Wars stuff, so I missed out on a lot of stuff. Didn't have any money either, so it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> I want to get this one opened up. I've had this uh, for a while waiting. Be nice to get this out of the box, save a little space here. New in the packaging, but we can see a little damage here, so I kind of got it for cheaper, so I'm able to kind of show off the box to you at least a little bit. But I have a complete version this way, and I saved a little money getting some damaged goods. But the ship looks okay inside, so we'll find out. Twist ties and straps all over. Finally free. Had a cool little diorama kind of picture in the back of his backup ties. Got a little instruction booklet here. You can kind of date it here with the old Clone War cartoon there. But showcasing some of the figures. Handy little checkbook in here. Probably have a few here I can show. There's like the really nice Falcon. That's probably just a redo of the 90s one as well. But they did get pretty good by the end here. But this is the bag that'll have the missiles. Take a look at the ship here finally. Pretty sizable with the bigger wing in the back. But again, I do like collecting these more toy sized ones instead of like actual scale to the figures. Realistically, I don't have room for giant scale ships or I have to be very choosy what I get. This way I can get kind of more ships. Gets represented with the detail and shape but it's not oversized just to be real scale. It's not really what I'm looking for particularly with my collection. But of course featured up with the cockpit opens up at the top. We have a lever here on the bottom that you pull back. So it's up forward. Pull it back we got the guns popping out. So just a little a little bit of a play thing, a little bit of a choice for display as well. We can have the blasters kind of out. And of course, right next to that, the holes for the missiles. Lock those in place. Each one has a button here. Each side has its own little button to trigger. Try it out. Nice just buttony kind of thing to fire. Plenty of fun to be had shooting the missiles. Not going to factor in too much with the display, which is what I'm going to use it for, but I believe the wings will kind of pop off just like the kind of 90s TIE Fighter that was probably re-released with these two, but there's no like feature of them flying off like that one. They just are technically removable. I think you just would risk possibly breaking one of the tabs, so there's really no reason to take that off. There are a few holes here and there. Could possibly be handy to string it up if you want to do like kind of the floating display. So of course these are to scale with the little 3.75 inch figures. We actually comes with a Vader. Not that you really need one since what figure do you end up with the most with Star Wars? A lot of Darth Vaders. But this one's specifically done to sit inside the cockpit. We just kind of have a cape so he didn't have kind of his lower bit. So kind of looks like a 90s one up at the top here <laughs> with his just kind of long limbs there and kind of poorly done cape there at the top. Doesn't look that great. It's not an amazing one. Blue chest plate. We only see the tie advance in A New Hope. Uh, but not entirely 90s one. We actually do have some knee articulation. Ho ho! Step kick. So we can do a little seat there. No lightsaber or weapon or anything because it's just strictly pilot Vader for your TIE Advance here. Which again the cockpit opens up. But I'm not really seeing a seat where his uh, legs need to be down. Looks like they got the classic lay down. So I'm not sure why they went out of their way on the knee articulation there. He's just going to kind of sit there. Oh, I have you now. No need for the articulation. He just lays there very toyishly. So I mean this is only kind of the start of kind of adult collecting for Star Wars here. Still has play-ish features. We got the missiles and everything like that. Still kind of in the beginning of doing more collector based figures compared to the original figures and then the 90s ones just a little bit before this. The color is interesting because the packaging will show the kind of grayisher look for the TIE Fighters behind it. 
But this will kind of match the other like toy versions with the TIE Fighter with the bluish tinge. A little bit different, but it is kind of a different TIE Fighter model. A little bit bigger cockpit, so it is like a little more significant for, you know, the head villain of the series here. We have like the X-Wing that's really supposed to just be Luke Skywalker. So we have this normal TIE that's just kind of for like the generic troops and pilots. So here we have the main bad guy's actual ship that he does use just in A New Hope, just the first Star Wars. We don't get to see it again, so it kind of needs to stay in that collection end if you kind of collect movie to movie like I do. Actually, quite a lot of iconic vehicles for A New Hope. Some of the Tatooine stuff, and then here we have later movie with the big space battle scene. So it's one I kind of spotted a good deal on and kind of jumped on it, not worrying about particular, like, the 90s release version, this one a little bit later, because that scale all kind of goes together as long as you get things that do look pretty nice. Which there is a lot of nicer, older figures, as well as, of course, you want to get the vintage collection for kind of top-notch versions of Star Wars figures and characters. But Star Wars overall is kind of the collection I'm going for, not sticking with just one line, which kind of limits because there's just so many characters that have been made and I love all the little background stuff, as well as getting, you know, main character things like figures and the big vehicles. Can't have too many big vehicles because they just take up so much space, you know? But lots of little characters, you know, that's a lot easier to get displayed. But once in a while I want to get a cool vehicle like this and share it with you since it's just kind of a cool thing to see. So I open all my kind of retro Star Wars figures here as well as a lot of other 90s collections that I like to do here. Action figures. Once in a while a few detours here and there if something's interesting. But if this is the type of stuff you like and you like my way of doing it, hopefully I'll get to see you in the next video with a playlist. Or you can just get subscribed so you can see what comes up new.